Thanks for staying with us. Uh, we're at actually the Governor's Conference 2016 Ag Summit, the first of its kind, and we're joined by the great uh, Governor of the State of Kansas, Sam Brownback. Governor, it's good to see you. Hey, pleasure to join it's you. Always a, it's always nice to catch up with you. And um, a lot of people can debate a lot of things with you on policy and some other stuff, but what they can't debate is your love and what you've done for this agriculture in the state of Kansas. Well, thanks for saying that. Uh, I've been associated with the industry since I was born. My family farms, I was state president, future farmers. I just, I love the business. Mm -hmm. And I, I love that Kansas is so central in the global agricultural business because it's just such an important thing to feed people. Mm -hmm. And now increasingly to give them fuel and, and fiber, of obviously. I, it's, it's just a great business, and it's a great to be a part of, and it's great to be in Kansas agriculture. Well, not only that, I think you've started moving things forward. When you look at your 50-year water plan, I mean, it really takes someone visionary moving forward to think about what are we going to do 50 years from now when it comes to water for the state. Well, and if we don't have water, if we don't have those options, our, our opportunities shrink substantially. And I've been really pleased the number of people that have stepped up on issues of the Ogallala, uh, recently, we just announced this, uh, an agreement on the Republican River Basin so that the, the litigation we've been in with Nebraska and Colorado on it, the water is more usable to us. And then we're starting dredging, we're doing dredging right now in John Redmond so downstream communities have water. You just, you got to have water to have a future. Tracy Streeter and his department has done a really good job in the, in the uh, water department. Uh, but you, you take a look at Jackie and what she's done for the state when it comes to agriculture and the way she's moving things forward. And the relationship we have with Kansas State University is very important. I know you're an alum, so I know it's very important to you too. But getting people out into the workforce here in the state of Kansas that are trained and ready to be working in agriculture is very important. Very important, necessary, and we're short of agricultural mm -hmm. workers. Agriculture for years has exported people. You know, we export them into the urban areas. We need to import people because we're short of people. And now you get more and more ag students at places like K-State's College of Agriculture who don't have an agriculture mm -hmm. background, but they see a bright future in a food industry, in, a, in an industry that's globally competitive, that does so much, uh, and, and we need more people. We need more people in the agriculture industry. Well, not only that, you look at the Nag uh, National Agro-Bio-Defense Facility being built yeah. here in Manhattan. I mean, that's huge for the state of Kansas. It is, and it is a one-of-its-kind facility. It's going to cost over a billion dollars to build. You're going to be able to re do research on these zoonotic diseases that go from animals to people that are highly contagious. Mm -hmm. There, there will not be another facility in the world. And what we want to do then is grow the animal health corridor around it, which is already centered here mm -hmm. uh, around the Kansas City region. We think we can grow a lot more of it. Yeah, perfect. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to finish up with our governor, Sam Brownback. You're watching Kansas Ag Report. We'll see you in just a minute. This segment brought to you by Farm Bureau, a grassroots ag organization representing the state's farmers and ranchers since 1919. KFB.org. Oldie Seed Farms, carrying soil-specific seed. Find them on the web at oldieseed.com. That's O-H-L-D-E seed. Dot com. Grass and grain, online or in the mail, keeping Kansas farmers informed for over 60 years. Grassandgrain.com. Kansas Weed Commission, leaders in the adoption of profitable innovations for wheat. Online at kswheat.com. Thanks for staying with us. We're at the 2016 Ag Summit. Brought to you by Kansas Governor Sam Brownback. We're joined by Governor Brownback, so thanks for staying with us. Sure, sure. Uh, in your opening remarks to the group this morning, you brought up the American Royal. I think that's a really big deal for the state of Kansas. It is uh, because it's such a great old line livestock show, and we think we can build around it an agricultural genetics complex where you really just have the best an animal genetics in the world uh, here that for export, for use domestically. Uh, we just think there's a lot of opportunities with that. We've got to put the money together to build the facility uh, for it because it needs new facilities. But I, I think it, rep it represents a great opportunity for us to grow and also to bring, breathe new life into the Agricultural Hall of Fame, which sits there uh, as well. Well, not only that, but you look at the Angus Association is not far from there. You've got Kansas State and the research that are being done. You know, uh, Dean Floros, we had on the show, and we were talking about that. So Dairy Farmers very, of America. Dairy Farmers right of America, America, exactly. And that's another thing, and I want to uh, touch on this real quickly. Dairy's a really big deal to you. I it mean, it you, is. You've made it a, 
I mean, you've said several times, we want to be the leader in the nation when it comes to dairy. And we can. And you're building now, seen built now in this state, the largest single build dairy processing plant in the country. A uh, quarter billion dollar facility, DFA and others are putting it together. And I think that can be a linchpin, just like when the beef processors moved out to the High Plains, the IBPs and Cargills and others. That really made that complex work because you could pay more now for the product you're getting in processing locally. We think we can do the same with dairy. And, I, and it, again, uh, my hat's off to you guys. You and Jackie went out and dealt with Cargill and basically kept them in the state of Kansas. That would have been a big loss for us to lose their protein, their meats division out of the state. And they were looking seriously about you know, either going back to the headquarters in Minnesota or Denver or Dallas, but them staying here. And then now we want them to grow. We, we want to see that protein division grow, and what else can we do with it? Well, not only that, but agriculture is the largest sector when it comes to the economic impact here in the state of Kansas. Uh, recently, you were added to the Trump campaign as far as being on his ag committee and, and providing uh, input to him. What do you hope to get out of that? Well, I hope to put into it. Uh, he's not an agriculture guy, obviously. Now, Mike Pence is, is a vice presidential running mate from an agricultural uh, state, Indiana. Mm -hmm. Uh, knows a lot more about it, but I hope to really put in to it and th is tell them really things like crop insurance, which has this large federal subsidy, is really critical to financing agriculture. Agriculture doesn't get uh, what it used to get in subsidization from the government, and that's fine, but it needs the agricultural, I mean, it needs the crop insurance to be able to finance those crops. And not only that, but you look at the new GMO bill that was signed mm -hmm. not long ago by the president, some good and some bad on it. I mean, we make it that each state's not going to be able to have their own laws, but at some point in time you knew this was kind of probably come down the line. You do, <clears throat> and there's so much technology involved in agriculture now. So it's, 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 it's like you, that always kind of pushes up, like drones, and they're looking at fields. Well, okay, that can be a useful technology. What about the privacy and regulatory pieces of it? And so you've just, you always have those going back and forth. And then fortunately, I think moving forward, you're just going to see greater complexity of those issues as they move forward and this industry moves forward. Governor, it's always good to see you. My pleasure. Thank you for your time. You bet. The producer-funded Kansas Wheat Innovation Center was built to get improved varieties into the hands of farmers faster. Kansas Wheat, farmers advancing their future through wheat genetics research. Imagine having someone help you pick the best corn hybrids for every field on your farm. Your oldie representative can combine your data with his data to offer a field-by-field -field prescription. Contact Oldie Seed today at 877-692-4555.